Now an update to breaking news. We first told you about at four o'clock the entire Chicago School Board. All seven members are stepping down. Our Sabrina Franza is live at CPS headquarters with what we're learning about the resignations and what it means for Chicago Public Schools. Sabrina. Joe, Erica, Chicago Public Schools is already set to have an entirely new school board this upcoming January, but this news presents the opportunity for a new school board who can only be appointed by the mayor between now and then. It's a move some are calling an abuse of power by the mayor. This afternoon, in the middle of teacher contract negotiations, the mayor's office says all seven members of Chicago School Board would, quote, transition out of their roles. We're now learning that would happen in the very near future, and we're told all members were resigning. The mayor has been at odds with Chicago Public School CEO Pedro Martinez as of late. Previously, we reported that the mayor asked Martinez to resign. The mayor later denied that. The Chicago Teachers Union, the powerful labor union of which current mayor Brandon Johnson was a vocal member before assuming office, has been asking for raises for teachers. CPS CEO Pedro Martinez has opposed those raises in part because sources tell us he feels the school system cannot afford it. Now, on Tuesday, the mayor was asked about leadership at CPS. He said this. I'm going to fight for public education in this city. As our brother articulated earlier, in the 90s, it was awful. Sold off all the city assets, sold off everything. Didn't pay pensions, privatized our schools, shut down public housing. I was elected to fight for the people of this, of this city. And whoever's in the way of that, get out of it. Meantime, voters are about to, for the first time, vote for members of the school board in this upcoming election. There will be 10 elected positions on the board and 11 more appointed by the mayor. We're asking what might happen in the interim. This allows for an opportunity for the board to come in, go ahead and do the CTU and the mayor's bidding around removing Pedro Martinez and also um, putting forward $300 million payday loan. Uh, again, which, which would further put CPS in debt. CPS has $7, mil, $7 billion of debt. So adding another $300 million, again, it's just irresponsible. It's also important to note that Mayor Brandon Johnson had previously appointed most of the members that are now leaving their positions within the school board. Right now, outside of CPS headquarters, some opponents of what happened today are rallying to express their concerns. We are still trying to figure out why those board members resigned, what they were told. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. For now, we're live in the loop. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Chicago. Thank you, Sabrina.